Hello. Hello. This me is that I'm reviewer guy. You know me. You don't know him, <laughs> so introduce yourself. Um, I'm his friend from, and we met here at college. Yep. Um. What else? I um. I am just starting up a YouTube channel named um, Golden Heart Poetry, and I've been bugging this guy for a while to um, be on one of his album reviews, and um, he actually let me be on his for one, so yay! Yep. And this, the album that we're actually going to do is one that I bought for him um, for his birthday. That's true. That's true. Also one of my favorite albums that I have ever listened to. Disclaimer. I'll probably put his channel down there if I feel like it. So You're not just going to? I might. Big I might. Blood. I might. By the way, he sucks in air hockey. That's true. <laughs> I'm not gonna disown that fact. Okay, so we are gonna review an album. First collaborative review that I've done. And it's another first because it's also the first older ish album that I've done. Mm -hmm. So let's get to it. So the album we are reviewing is Sick Puppies 2009 album, Tripolar. Any thoughts on Sick Puppies? I've actually seen them live once um, at a concert. Solid. They, they are a very good band as far as I'm um, having concerts because they are very into their audience. Such as, like, I went to um, go get something signed from them. Mm -hmm. And um, literally, the lead singer went up to me. He's just like, "Oh, is this your fir is this your first concert?" And he like started like trying to talk to me like, and like it's kind of like there's a line of a hundred people behind me. I don't think they want me to talk to you like we're friends. <laughs> nice. There you go. They are people. People. Mhm. Mm Very nice people. It's a shame the lead singer is no longer in the band, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so. You know the drill. You don't, but everyone else does. <laughs> this is uh, Sick Puppy's third album, released back in 2009, and I usually go through this track by track. Let's do that. The, the album starts off with a song called War, which is synonymous with uh, the Street Fighter video game. One of them. I forget which one. Four, I think. But yeah, uh, nice energetic track to open the album with. You know, it has some... Uh, nice heavy instrumentation and uh, it works well with the style of the vocals that are being used on this track very energetic and like aggressive aggressive track mm -hmm. I agree with that I really like the intro to the song it's very fast it's very strong to open up with mm -hmm. and it's also and also like if you have like the recording of it it's a very nice song to just kind of like listen to when you're working out and like pumping some iron Unless you don't work out. <laughs> hey, I, I used to I used to be a sports guy. True. Alright, I got you. Um, then we move on to the next track, I Hate You. And... Hey. I hate you too, Nathan. Uh, I love you, man. <laughs> you, yeah, I hate you. Yeah, it's an okay song, but I mean, I can't really pick out anything special about it that I like or dislike. So, I have no specifics to say about that one. Um... My review of it is just, they, like, it wasn't, it definitely was not as loud as, um, the previous song, but it, but it's a very, but they are loud enough where you can, it, but it's nice to, like, listen to, mm. and just enjoy the beat of them, then, rather than just enjoy the beat of the music, you can, like, get into the lyrics of it, and it's kind of just, like, a good song to, like, decompress after you like you've had like a hard day at work and you're just kind of angry at something at something or someone okay i got you opinions are opinions okay then we have uh riptide riptide is a nice change of pace in this album it is it's a more mellow song than the previous two um and i like the lyrics in this song and the overall message and the music video helps convey that message just saying <laughs> I basically just agree with that, whatever he says about this one. Just basically a nice, easy-going song. It's nice to listen to like when you're frustrated. I agree. One of my favorites in the album. We'll get to that later. Uh, you're Going Down is another hard rocker that shows aggression, much like War, but in a bit of a different sense. And this song actually introduced me to Sick Puppies. 
because it was the theme song for WWE's 2009 Extreme Rules pay-per-view, and that, that's pretty much what introduced me to the band. I actually f first heard this song when um, I did wrestling back in high school. Hmm. It's, a, it's a very common song just for the fact of that, like, it's kind of like one of those songs in which, like, you just want to fight people and punch a person in the face. I got you. Yeah. I, I really love this song, to be honest. Like, this is my favorite out of the whole album and on one of my top ten of all time. Mm. There you have it. Yeah. Very very nice song, like, when you're about to, like, work out or go on a long run. Solid. Then we get into Odd One. Odd One, if you ask me, the chorus is a little simplistic for my taste. And it really just doesn't bring much to the table, in my opinion. It's it's probably my least favorite on the album, personally. I I like this song just because, like it it like varies, but like as it goes like up and down and like volume. True. I mean, it's not one of my favorites, but it's not that good. It's but it's a good song to like listen to, like if you're like depressed. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Uh, then we get into "So What I Lied." And I like the way that that song shifts from like it has like a softer start, and then it gets to like a, to be a bit heavier into the chorus. And speaking of the chorus, I especially like the chorus because the vocal style like shifts multiple times. He goes from like one octave to another octave, and it's just I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. I I very much like the vocals in this too, because the it, the lyrics are very clear and very well understood by like the listener it's also pr it's also a pretty relatable song like when you think about it of, like how people can feel smothered by someone in a relationship or by their parents i agree i agree next song survive has a nice pace to it and i like the instrument the instrumentation as well on this track and i think the instrumentation and the vocals like mesh together very well on this one mm-hmm the, the instrumentation is very well in this song, I, although it's a little harder to hear the lyrics. True. So, but it's a very good song. Like if you like, you're, if you like, just like have a lot of pent up energy, mm -hmm. and you just like kind of want to get rid of them by like taking out your air guitar and just like pretending you're in the middle of a concert, just like yeah. Yeah, there there's quite a bit of like emotion and aggression on this album, and it's noticeable th through quite a few songs here. Um, should have known better is the next one. It has some nice lyrics and a nice riff in the bridge, and I just like the overall rhythm of this song. Yeah, the rhythm, the rhythm of the song is pretty good. I I really like how clearly like the lyrics are understood, just like the previous one. Mm -hmm. Well, not like the previous one, but the one before the previous one. Yeah. But um, yeah, the clear the lyrics are pretty well understood, and it's also very relatable for like when like. For a person who regrets having like a relationship with someone that they know they sh they shouldn't have, right? You know, if you've had a girlfriend. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next song is maybe. Maybe I like it. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't know. Maybe 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 maybe. It seems like that's all that the lines start off with in the song is the word maybe. And I know that's the title of a song. It's probably the point, but it just gets a bit like irritating and simplistic as far as I'm concerned. I actually enjoy this song just because it's very nostalgic because I remember hearing it a lot in my childhood. But it, I also like it, but if you really listen to it, it has a good meaning to it, just that you shouldn't stop yourself from having change just because there's a lots of maybes in it. True. You should be able you should be able to take that risk no matter what maybes there are. Right. I'm not saying I don't like the song. I'm just saying it gets a bit like I will admit re repetitive. It, is, it is very repetitive. Yeah. Don't Walk Away is the next one. It has some nice lyrics and vocal presentation as well. And I like the harmonization of the lyrics and a portion of the chorus. Uh, it, it's done very well, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. I, I very much like the lyrics and how I like almost about everything in this song. And as like as I mentioned before, I'm a poet, mm -hmm. and I like I've written a lot of poetry about breakups and how the, how this song presents the breakup and how it talks about the breakup. I personally know that it's difficult to like write it down because it's very heartbreaking. So I give them a lot of props for making a song like this, 
and putting it out there for everyone. Apparently we have a professional in the house. Who are you, Nathan? <laughs> okay, then. Um, yeah, next we have Master of the Universe. Not He-Man, though. Uh, <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, this, this song has some nice lyrics and instrumentation as well. And I like how the song gets a bit heavier towards the end, where it's like a more mellow-ish song for the most part. But then in, the farther it goes in the song, it seems as though the heavier it gets. And I like that progression. Mm-hmm. I, I, uh, I, too, like how it gets very heavy during the song. But how the... um. How, how the instruments play, but they don't, like, they play loudly, but they don't drown out the vocals, right. which is very nice in a song like this, because a lot of bands decide that they'd rather have the instruments play and drown out the vocals rather than having the vocals tell what they need to tell. I got you. I got you. Uh, in It For Life is the next one. It has a decent bridge, but for some reason the song just doesn't really spark any interest in me. I mean... It's just fair, pretty much. I can't get into it for some reason. Not the. It's the same with me here. Like the lyrics are actually pretty dried up by the instruments, and it it's not very. It's not very in awe inspiring. It's kind of bland, if you ask me. I honestly thought we were gonna have more disagreement on this album than agreement, but we still have one more song to go. Yep. White balloons. And I think that's a nice track to close the album with. Uh, it features altern alternating male and female vocals. And this is the only track on the album that does that. So I find that very interesting. I actually very well agree with that. I really love the duet that they do between the guy and the girl. And also how the guy and the girl are very balanced in tone, volume, and feeling that they have in the song. It's also nice to hear something because, like, the song itself has is very different from the other one. So it's very nice to kind of like change off of more of the anger part of the album, right? And more of do something nice within the album. Yeah, like I said earlier, there's a lot of like aggression and rage found throughout this album. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's nice that they break that up every so often with like yeah. a softer song. Yeah. And I just like the overall emotion in the album. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, I will say there's quite a bit of similarity in a couple of the songs in this album, but I think that works for continuity purposes. Like, they're not sounding the same to sound the same because they have no ideas. They're, like, sounding the same because it works, because it, like, fits with the whole album. Yeah, it's also very much of their sound. They do a lot of, a like, they're, they're a basket case of anger if you look at a lot of their albums. I got you. I have Connect. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, overall it's a pretty good album. I have some favorites on the album. My favorites are War, Riptide, You're Going Down, So What I Lied, and Don't Walk Away. Yourself? Um, I like War, You're Going Down, and So What I Lied. I also like Maybe. Okay. I really don't like um, Riptide and um, Don't Walk Away as much. Uh, so would you say those are like your least favorites on the album? Yeah. Mm. Mine would have to be Odd One and In It For Life, I'd say. But overall, I give this album a solid 8 out of 10. It, it's a pretty good album, no doubt. Not the best, but it's up there. I'd agree with that rating. There you have it. He's a poetry guy, but he knows his stuff. Somewhat. <laughs> Possibly more than me. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for joining me today. You're but, very welcome. Yes, th this has been fun. It has been. And, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Subscribe to him, too, if I decide to put his link in the description. I'm Golden Heart Poetry. Golden Heart Poetry. This is That Album Reviewer Guy, signing off. <laughs>